Hey YouTube, what's up? Rally Racer 98K here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial of the basic Blender 2.6 keyboard shortcuts, keyframes, and edit mode slash object mode um, basics. So, here we have our default cube, and I'm zooming in and zooming out using my number pad. Um, I'm not sure about how laptop zoom in and zoom out with a number pad. I know you can use the scroll wheel like I am right now again, but um, for the number pad, number four is to go left, number six is to go right, number eight up, two down, and five, it changes your view from, perspe um, ortho from perspective to orthographic, and if you hit it again, it goes back to perspective. Um, I'm not sure what the use of that is, but there are quite a few uses that I've seen people do. Um, 7 is top view. If you hit 9, it doesn't do anything, so don't mess with that. Um, 3 is side view, and 1 is another side view. And then period, it just zooms in. But, um, so minus key and plus key, they zoom you in and zoom you out. And, um, as you can see, I've got my default cube here, and I'm pivoting around it and my lamp light source and my camera which is my camera now to go to the camera view what you're gonna do you're gonna press zero and it goes to your camera view um... basically basics of object mode to to rotate an object you're gonna go hit, hit R and you can rotate it if you hit R twice you can rotate it in any single direction and then if you hit R and the X, it rotates on the X axis, R Y rotates on the Y axis, and R Z rotates on the Z axis. I find that feature extremely useful. And then if you press G, it grabs. And if you press G X, G Y, and G Z. Now if I want to rotate the camera, I just right click on the camera and either hit the rotate R button twice and I can rotate like that or I rotate using the different certain axes now if I want to grab my camera and move it I find it a lot easier to go into the camera view and press grab and use the certain different ways because I find it that I can center my image on the square now this here is what is going to render. So you always want to make sure that your camera is centered on what you want it to render. Now to render you press F12 and there's my rendered image. And to render an animation you'd press F11. But you first you have to make the animation. So um, edit mode. Here is edit mode. So I've got all my different vertices. Now let's say I want to select all of the vertices, but I don't want to hold down shift and right click on every single one. I can just hit A and it will look like that when you've selected everything. Now let's say I want to subdivide it so that I'll have a vertice in the middle and have more vertices. I just hit the subdivide button, there goes more vertices. Control Z, it undoes it. Um, extrude. To extrude a region you press E and then um since this is a square, it just duplicates it. But if I was to do that with a plane, um, it would completely extrude and make it 3D like a square and go upwards or downwards. Now, duplicate, as you can see, it duplicates. Um, these little thingies. This goes on your x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Um, control N it makes a new file. Control S saves it. Um, A it again selects everything, but this time in object mode. To right, when you right click on something, it selects it. When you left click, it doesn't select it. It moves the origin, which is that crosshair right there, and that is where your objects will spawn. So uh, you don't want to be moving your origin unless you have a specific set place. That's my camera lamp. Now, say I wanna, this is my render tools. Now I have render presets, all of that good stuff. 
Then I have all my layers. I'm not exactly sure what this stuff does yet, but I know that it does um, pretty useful stuff. So, um, render image, render animation, that's just another way of doing the F12 render image and F11 animation. Um, your frame rate, you can go all the way up to 60, and then if you want to go above that, it's custom. Your resolution, currently I have it set at 1920 by 1080p. And your frame range, now this is my little frame bar down here, and I have it ended at 250, but if I want to end at 270, see, ends at 270. But uh, I'm going to leave it at 250 for now. So uh, here you are. Now this is where all your keyframes will show up, and I'll get to keyframes in a sec. So if I want to change this to wireframe view, I press the Z button. As you can see, pressing Z once, you got wireframe, press it again. Now say I want to search for a specific thing, I just go here, um, plane, add plane. There's my plane. Now I don't want to add that, so to delete something, you just press X, delete and um control X okay that doesn't do it never mind um on the older versions of blender control X would erase everything and make a new file but that's what control N does so um as you can see moving the origin can be quite annoying but you can get it back usually yeah so um back to our tutorial um, if I want to join this object with something, I first will press Shift D to duplicate the object. And then say I want to make two square eyes, I just press Shift and right click on the other object so that I can select both. And I press Join, and as you can see, now they're joined. And if I want to change the origin so that it's origin to geometry, so that it centers it around the geometry, then it does that origin to 3D cursor, it does that. And the 3D cursor, that's what the crosshairs are. Um, and then origin to, geometry to origin moves my geometry to where the origin is. So, um, basically, again, when you join an object, the rotating is the same. Um, so, yes, moving right along. Um, if I want to undo something, Control Z will undo it. And as you can see, there's a brief history of what I've just done. Um, these things: Z axis, X axis, Y axis. Um, back to edit mode. If I want to merge selected vertices like this merge at center it merges them and creates it one so it um, f affects the shape and merges it to create one now um, if I want to actually you know what um, for the shading smooth shading uh, you don't have to worry about that but basically it just makes it look a bit smoother um, duplicate that's um, the shortcut for that is Control Shift D. Sorry, Shift D, not Control Shift. Just just Shift D. And I'm gonna undo that because I don't want two planes right now. Now, um, here we are getting into keyframes and stuff like that. So for this, I am going to, as you can see, we're at frame one. Um, see frame zero actually. So at frame 0, I'm going to have my cube here. Now I want to have it at frame 20, move here. So I'm going to insert a keyframe, lock, rot, scale. Now that is, um, it's so that it does your lock and rot axes, and then it does scaling. So I'm going to make it bigger here. And, oh wait, I have to insert scale. Now as you can see, um, oh sorry guys, um, keyframes can be pretty confusing. So first you have to make, insert a first keyframe, um, lock rot scale, and then at, no, uh, alright, so at frame zero, 
I am going to insert a keyframe, lock rot scale. Then I'm going to go to frame 20, 21, whatever. Um, I'm going to move that there, and I'm going to make that bigger. Then I insert a keyframe, lock rot scale. Now, as you can see, from frame 0 to frame 20, it gets bigger and moves that way. Now, let's say I want to go all the way to frame 60, 80, and have it come back here and get really small. I just do the same thing, insert keyframe, lock rot scale, and now let's watch. Yay! Um, so that's our animation right now. And if you want to move it along anywhere, you just drag the little green bar. And as you can see, it's going along. Um, so if you want to have your camera track to that object, you would go to Constraints. You would add a constraint, Track to, and then the target cube and it would be um up y two negative z and now if I move this this thing moves along. So um now if I watch that animation as you can see my camera goes with it. Which is can be a very very useful tool if you're creating a game or something like that. Um, there's a huge amount of possibilities in Blender. As you can see, you make a game. Um, okay, so. As you can see, there's that little line, the dotted line, connecting the camera to the sphere. So you can see outside it moves when that moves. And, um,. That's about all for today. Thanks for watching, YouTube. I'll, I will have a list of all the keyboard shortcuts in my credits. And um, see you soon with more tutorials and videos. Please make video responses and like or dislike. And uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Bye.